This is the emergency broadcast system. The CDC is advising that you stay in your homes and walk all the way. We shall walk. What's going on, everybody? It's ya boy Carbon, and today we are going to be talking about the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 update that dropped yesterday. And some of y'all might be wondering, what update? And that's a very good question, because we were told last week, last Tuesday, August 27th, that this week we would have Close Quarters, Frenzy, and Blackout. But when the updates came, the game settings were there but there was no playlist update for blackout so what happened to close quarters frenzy and why do we still have hot pursuit well we're going to get into all of that and we're also going to be talking about the new zombies dlc 4 map jungle flooded and so forth so let's get right into this video man treyarch has released the game settings update on call of duty black ops 4 and they shared the first look at the zombies dlc 4 map coming later this month to the game the studio will be releasing more content throughout the week as they get closer to the launch of the final map. A release date has not been shared yet. This update came with a message from Treyarch, and they said they hope everyone had a great holiday weekend, and they're kicking off the week with the return of Arms Race Team Deathmatch in multiplayer on all platforms. So that's where the initial sighting of the update has been seen. For those of you that don't know what Arms Race Team Deathmatch is, it's basically just Team Deathmatch with 150 points per kill instead of 100. So you can rack up score streaks, rain havoc on your enemies all week long. And uh, don't forget to pack the rocket launcher. But we also have Hot Pursuit still. Why do we have Hot Pursuit? Multiplayer got a games list update. Why didn't Blackout? Well, Hot Pursuit continues in Blackout and they're currently planning on running it in the featured playlist slot beyond this week. And Pandemic will also return as a part of the final major update of Operation Apocalypse Z when they will be releasing Jungle Flooded, which will be the final alternate weather map in Black Ops 4. And Zombies DLC 4 arrives in September. So why did everybody think we were getting Close Quarters Frenzy this week? Because here is an article from last week on Charlie Intel with information given by Treyarch. And they said, speaking of limited time modes, they're planning on bringing a different mode into rotation every week for the remainder of the operation with Close Quarters Frenzy already lined up for next Tuesday. Now, that article came out on August 27, 2019. The following Tuesday would have been September 3rd, 2019. So it looks like instead of giving us the limited time mode that they told everybody they would get a week in advance and a lot of people were looking forward to Close Quarters Frenzy aren't going to be playing Close Quarters Frenzy. So please don't shoot the messenger. Please, you know, put your hatred out on, you know, Treyarch and their decisions for the limited time mode because they did tell us that we would be getting Close Quarters Frenzy, but instead we got to keep Hot Pursuit. Treyarch also says that we should be keeping an eye out on all of their social medias this week for the news story details on the final Zombies experience in Black Ops 4. So there'll be plenty to, to unpack in all due time, but until then, the clue was, my friends, old and new, we stand on a brink of victory. One more time, the quote is, my friends, old and new, we stand on a brink of time. And there's a little picture of what seems to be a person either coming out of the cold as if they were frozen or, you know, that's how I'm interpreting it. Let me know in the comments, you Zombies fans, if you know what this picture means here. Now, I got to admit, in the past, Treyarch has done a lot of things to leak different DLCs, getting players excited. But this timing seems a little weird. We've had three DLCs in the past, and they were highly motivated for us to, to play in, but they weren't that fun, and we were highly disappointed in the usual contents of these DLCs. We were told we were getting one thing, and then we would get it, and it would be not what we thought it was, or we were told we were getting another thing, and then once we got it, it was basically just a Band-Aid, to put on a cut that needs stitches and prestigious key has still said that well and that line will always stick with me this game is coming to the end of its life with a beta for modern warfare dropping in just a week or so the timing couldn't be 
more worse for a DLC. If you think about it, this game is dying. Like, it's, it's dying. And it's not in any form of the game itself. It's more the developers and the microtransactions that have absolutely thrown it into the trash. It seems like the days of grinding for this game are over. And I'm not talking about for Black Ops 4 even. I'm talking about for Call of Duty. In the past, I loved grinding games. I loved the, the reason behind it. If I grind it hard enough, eventually I will get rewarded with something that I can show off with. Basically like a trophy, if it was a skin or something like that. But the more this game comes out with updates, and even teasing us with Jungle Flooded, I still don't want to play any multiplayer and the fact that I might get bored and won't even care about the new update. So I'm doing my best to steer clear of most of multiplayer until that DLC drops. Because I don't want to be bored of this game, but every time there's an update, I am just very disappointed as I'm sure some of you guys are too. Call of Duty used to be a game of skill, pure gun skill, and that's how you would prove yourself within the game. Now everything seems to be completely randomized. Take Zero, for example, in multiplayer. You could spend minutes and throughout most of any sort of multiplayer game, get as many kills as possible, rack up your streaks, and the only thing Zero has to do on the other team is just wait. Just wait for you to grind and get all those kills and those score streaks. So as soon as you call them, they can be hacked and they're no longer yours. They're the person who has zero. That's not very fair. And then the people that play Blackout nonstop, they're constantly playing Blackout. All they do is they want the reserve crates so they can try to get some of those DLC weapons to play in the game. But they don't. Like myself, I don't get any new weapons unless I get them through a weapon bribe. My most recent one was the C6 Stingray for the Heatwave stream. And that wasn't even this DLC's weapon, it was the previous. And out of the thousands of reserve crates I spent, I still don't have any weapons. So I'm no longer playing Blackout for the fact that I'm trying to grind for something to unlock. I'm purely playing it out of the love of Battle Royale with the Call of Duty mechanics. But before there was Battle Royale, I was a multiplayer lover. I was a search and destroy lover. I love team deathmatch. I love domination. I love getting out there and pub stopping people. But now it seems like there is just too much against me to want to do that. It is just very unmotivating to want to play Call of Duty Black Ops 4 the same way I used to play other Call of Duties. Now, I love Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Sure, the microtransactions were weird, but I got all the guns just by playing the game. That's all I had to do. In Blackout, I've put enough hours in, and in multiplayer, I've put enough hours in, that every time I open reserve crates, I always think, I have to get guns now. I have like everything else. Where are the guns? So then I keep playing, and then I open up more reserve crates, and the second it shows that I don't get a gun, I don't feel like playing anymore. And if it wasn't for streaming, I doubt I would be playing. I hate to rant like this, but it's just something that needs to be talked about. I love Battle Royale, and I love Call of Duty mechanics. It is such a ball drop that they completely missed the mark on this one. So DLC 4, I hope that brings something to Blackout that everybody can have a chance to have fun with, including weapons. I hate the fact that I paid $60 for the game, $50 for the Black Ops Pass, and the easiest way for right now for me to get weapons is just by buying more reserve crates instead of wasting hours and days of my life trying to unlock these weapons just so I can have a go at them. It's just annoying. I'm ready for DLC 4. I'm hoping there's some new points of interest. I'm hoping there's some fixes to some of the mechanics involved in Battle Royale that have been broken since the beginning. I'm hoping for an equal chance to earn something in reserve crates because a new law is passing that before you open any sort of crates inside a video game, that they have to tell you the chances of what you are about to get. And maybe it's time we have that in Call of Duty because the microtransactions have absolutely killed this game along with lack of care and fixes and updates from the developers.
But stay tuned until my next video. I might have an entire list of things that I think need to be fixed. And I might not. I don't know. This game is up and down for me. I wake up. I watch some videos. I want to play it. As soon as I play it, I don't want to play it. And then I want to go to another game. All in all, I can't wait for Call of Duty Modern Warfare to come out. I hope it's everything that they are promising. And we are supposed to be expecting a trailer for the storyline very soon. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know what I did wrong. Or let me know any of your thoughts. You guys always do. It's your boy Carbon. Ha, peace.